Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're in Rosemont, Illinois at the World of Wheels, and I'm here with George. George Oleskowitz. 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 And George has a fantastic Camaro that we're going to show you, so I don't want to take too much time to get right to it. So let me grab the cameras I usually do. Thank you, Bill. And George, tell us, what did you bring here today to the World of Wheels? The 1967 RSSS L78 convertible. And the RS is because we've got the hideaway headlights, correct? Correct. And it is looking just great. Let me get a shot of the front of that. And we're going to move over to the side. And tell us what the L78 means. L78 is a 396, 375 horse solid lifter. And on this stripe, tell me about the stripe. Stripe is a standard SS option. Okay. You're on most of, most of the Camaros at that time frame. Oh, that's, that's pretty much got it. Okay. And how long have you had this car? We had this car for about 20 years. How did you get this car, George? I bought this car from the original owner's widow. He passed away in 85. She kept it for 10 years, thinking she was going to restore it, and never did. I purchased it in about 1995. And it looks just fantastic. What's the color on this car? This color is marina blue. It is an unusual blue top with blue deluxe interior. And being that it's a L78, along with a convertible, how many of these do you think there are? I'm told they made about 1,100 L78s in 67. It was a six month option. And uh, from what I understand, they only made about 10% convertible, and about 110 convertibles. 110 convertibles. Wow. So let's take a look. I want to take a look at the back of the car for just a second. There's that convertible top. Love the license plate. I'm going to do that just so people can get the feel for that. The luggage rack, which of course was never used during that time frame. <laughs> I actually have a receipt for it from the June of 67 when the original owner had a dealer installed a flight tractor. <laughs> we have every piece of paperwork on this car. Well, let's take a look at some of that. Let's go over to your scrapbook here. So here was the car with a fresh rubber top. I mean, it was all right off the truck. The right transport. off the truck. Right off the transport. No dealer prep. We took it right off the transport. Still had the blue coloring on the white walls. Wow. As you can see that right there. There's the blue coloring. And then here is the uh, original owner. Happy owner with his car. Original and then window sticker. The original window sticker. I'll let people kind of dial into some of that. And I'll go slow enough so they can focus on that. Cool. Any other shots? I have the original bill of sale. Original bill of sale. Documentation. The original protector plate. I'll do this just like, oops, excuse me, just like that. Very cool. unusual, the uh, build sheets. The build sheets. Which are very unusual to find on a Norwood built Camaro. The people who have their Camaros can see some of that. Just George, you obviously have a love for the Camaro. Why, why, why the Camaro out of all the cars that are, that are here? I bought my first Camaro in 1977. I've been restoring them ever since. So it's just a, it's just a love for you. Come on, come on with me here. And uh, let's open the interior, just so we can take a look at that. I'll let you do that. I'll let you hold that door, too, because we've got kind of a unique angle. the wonderful pedals and the all metal gauging dashboard. Let's see the gauges here. The Chevrolet emblem. These are the original gauges, correct? Yes, sir. Now, they look great. And the four-speed there, as you can see. 
Like so. Nice console. I like the white stripe in the seats. All deluxe interior. The deluxe interior. And the Camaro emblem, is that part of the deluxe interior? Yes. And metal up here and the vinyl here, it looks great. Let's pop the hood. I'm gonna focus in on some of that badging. Oh, that looks great. How long, George, come with me for a second. How long does it take to put something like this together, this labor of love? It took me about two years and uh, 18 years of collecting parts. 18 years of collecting parts. My goodness. Just looks fantastic. Looks great. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna shut the hood. And Margaret, come over for just a minute. It's cute. Margaret clearly is George's better half. <laughs> That's obvious, right? Yes. So, uh, Margaret, question for you as I wrap up the, the program here. Uh, you were putting together some of the work around the sides here, and. And I asked you, I said, do you do this at every show? And your response was? I do it because I love him. He does it because he loves him. <laughs> Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you, Lou. Thank you.